I'm not babysick on this shirt. I hope it's gonna be all right. So you're feeling like your life is in a little bit of a rut. You look at your future and everything just seems a little bit bleak. You want something different, a new challenge. You want to change your life but you don't see that happening where you currently live. Well, why don't you just move to the other side of the world and change your life completely then? Just a thought. G'day guys, my name's Ross and I moved with my family to Australia during a global pandemic. If you also have that deep urge to move to Australia, <laughs> deep urge, but you're not sure if a new life down under is for you, then you need to listen to how moving to Australia has changed our lives to see if the wide brown land is what you're looking for. In Australia, everyone's your mate. If you don't know someone's name, then they're old mate, regardless of their age. It's not hard to at least try and be friendly to everyone you meet. Now, it's not to say that all Australians will be nice to you back, and it catches you off guard when someone is really rude. In contrast to our old life in the UK, where it seemed no one wanted to be friendly or ever cared to try and get to know you to the point that you just felt a bit lonely. I'm making it sound like I never had any mates. Australia seems like there are more opportunities to make new friends. Sure, some people will say that I'm talking bullshit and that actually it's all really fake, but they're probably just the rude ones that are gonna end up being grumpy to you anyway. Go out on a limb, say good day, and smile at somebody new. You'll find that most people return the smile and share the friendliness back. You never know, you can make a new mate. And that leads on to the next point, because you're not gonna end up being grumpy anymore. I mean, if you're from the UK, then you're still gonna end up being a whinging pom. Just kind of less so. With millions of Australians considering you a mate, and a beautiful sky that's just a different shade of blue. I mean, it's the same sky, just kind of being upside down makes it a different color, I guess. It's impossible not to have a more positive mindset. You don't realize how unhappy you were until you find out how happy you can be. Australia isn't perfect by any means, but here, some of the important things in life are just easier to take care of. Get some wellness exploring the outdoors. Find some purpose trying out a new career. Get a good education for your kids and enjoy the fantastic healthcare system that Australia has to offer. You just might not be able to enjoy it with the friends and family that you had to leave behind. That's the trade-off. For some, it's just too much of a cost. For others, it's bearable. But one thing is for sure, without them, you're never quite the same. Do you know what else isn't the same? The sun. Well, I know it's the same sun. It's not some kind of conspiracy or something, like a flat earth, but it definitely hits harder. If you've lived in a country like I have, where every time the sun shines, you feel contractually obliged to get outside, get some UV and try to bronze ever so slightly so it doesn't look like you've lived in a hole for most of the year. Sunny days seem to happen so infrequently in the UK that the country would go crazy for alcohol, blow up paddling pools, disposable barbecues, every time the temperatures seem to exceed about 15 degrees Celsius. With all that faffing about to try and enjoy the weather, it never occurs to you to be sun safe. Even on your two week holiday somewhere in the Mediterranean, ooh, two weeks, very posh. Someone's doing well, where was I? Even on your two week holiday to the Mediterranean, the thought of putting on something that might inhibit your ability to show off your new tan to your friends was tantamount to treason. In Australia, if you're gonna have that laissez-faire attitude to the sun and you don't slip, slop, slap, you're going to end up melting. Your skin will literally melt from your body, especially in summer. I have used more factor 50 in Australia than I have in my entire life. And despite being genetically predisposed to producing melanin, apart from in my hair, this is the first time in my life where I've had a year round permatan. And no, I don't spray tan, it smells funny. Yes, even half Filipinos will go pale after a few months in the darkness. Stay sun safe in Australia, or you're gonna end up visiting one of the many skin cancer clinics. There's a reason why Australia has some of the highest rates of skin cancer in the world. But if you're serious about moving to Australia, don't let that scare you off. Everything will be right as long as you do it properly. Like speaking to a MARA registered visa agent, because you're gonna need a visa to live in Australia. Our friends at True Blue Migration Services are one of Australia's oldest and most reliable visa agents. And I bet they use Factor 50 as well. While they can't suggest to you the best type of hat to wear in the sun, or even the most protective brand of sun lotion, aren't they all just basically the same? But they can tell you for free what your best options are for moving to this UV soaked country. We use the visa agent to manage our visas and it helps alleviate a lot of the stress and the hassle. If you get it wrong in the sun, you end up sunburn. If you get it wrong with your visas, it'll cost you your time and maybe a few thousand dollars. Can you afford that? Speak to True Blue Migration Services today for your free, no obligation visa assessment. And check out the link I've left in the top part of the description. It's not for suntan lotion. Now, if you're worried about how much moving to Australia costs, then you're right. 
It's really f***ing expensive. But is it worth it? With the rising costs of living everywhere, everyone is worried about money. Are you living from paycheck to paycheck? Are you counting the pennies just to make ends meet? I can't tell you that Australia is a magical land full of money, because it isn't. Imagine that magical land full of money. But here, where people are paid a fairer wage, the prices are more, but they're still comparable to how much money you have in your pocket. This is the country where your employer is legally obliged to pay you extra money just to go towards your retirement. Sorry for all of you self-employed people. Pay yourself a little bit extra. You deserve it. You eventually stop comparing how much things cost in your old life and end up feeling overall less tight with money. It's a nice feeling to have. How rich does anyone really need to be? How much money do you need to have before you're not worried about it anymore? I feel less worried about money now living in Australia than I did in the UK. I couldn't see a financial future living there that I was happy about. Maybe it's also the sheer amount of free stuff that you can do here. Do you feel like where you live, everyone's just trying to charge you money, even for the smallest of things? It stops you wanting to do stuff, doesn't it? Well, in Australia, it's all about doing, you know, stuff. And living here is gonna make you wanna try new things. Like visiting a bottle And you're gonna develop new interests. I've already told you how glorious the weather can be as long as you're being sun safe. But living in Australia will also make you more outdoorsy. It'll help you realize that there's nothing better than driving somewhere completely random to walk for probably longer than you would so you can sample the fresh air and enjoy the view. The English countryside is beautiful, but all too often it's slightly damp and smells of cow poo. You normally have to pay for parking and after about half an hour, you find yourself looking for the closest pub to warm up in. Now I'm not knocking a good pub, far from it. But if you spend most of your time looking at the inside of four walls, you're gonna miss out on what a beautiful country this really is. And I never thought I'd be one of these people, but I'm actually considering a camper van or a camper trailer or whichever one's cooler. Can anyone give me some information about which one I should get? I'd actually like to show you all more of what Australia has to offer. And because you'll spend more time outside, sun safingly of course, is that even a word? You won't watch TV as much. Actually, it's not just because of the outdoors. It's because Australian TV is shit. Come to think of it, it's a little bit like the chicken and egg. Which came first? My wife regularly comments that British TV was so much better. But was that just because we felt more compelled to be indoors that we felt more comfortable watching it? We still watch roughly the same amount of Netflix or other streaming services, but just less TV. Is it because we had Sky Plus to record everything for us to watch later? I don't think I'll ever really know. One thing I do know is that watching less TV is actually liberating. You don't sit down so much, so you feel healthier. You're not glued to a flickering screen so much, so you have more time to do other things. And I guess that leads to the most important way that moving to Australia will change your life. What would you do if you had more time? I spent most of my 20s and early 30s feeling rushed, like there weren't enough hours in the day. Living like that is tiring. Ironically now with two screaming daughters, sometimes they alternate their screaming and sometimes they scream together, I feel I have more time on my hands. It's a combination of lots of factors. The Australian attitude, positive labour laws, and going through a massive life-changing process to give yourself some perspective. They will give you the ability to focus a little bit more on yourself and your family. Moving to Australia isn't about the weather, nature, or your pay. If you come here for that, while well, you won't be disappointed, these aren't the things that are gonna make you stay. Moving to Australia is about the lifestyle that you could create to be able to focus on whatever is important to you. If you've managed to make the move, then you've already learned the lifelong skills that will enable you to get some perspective. And once you're here, this beautiful country will afford you every opportunity to enjoy your life with the ones that are closest to you. You will have to leave important family behind. It will always happen, but you'll gain the opportunity to change the future for yourself and for others. So isn't that worth it? I hope in 20 years time my girls don't have any regrets. If you still haven't contacted True Blue Migration Services, follow the link in the description to take advantage of their free, no obligation visa assessment. And if you're still worried about moving to Australia and the work-life balance, then watch this video for the four reasons why it's better to work in Australia. I wouldn't work anywhere else. See you later.